Okay, thrill seekers, got to be quick with this one because my rotor is very unstable and the steels uh, come loose. Uh, there's the battery, uh, battery voltage. Uh, we've got three coils, we've got perpendicular steels. <clears throat> this is a, uh, it's running, the motor up here is running off a 12 volt, um, uh, sorry, a 6 volt battery. Uh, this is a 12 volt 100 milliamp. Uh, we've got the three coils wired in series. So there's that. Let me just show you something though. Uh, that's the battery voltage. And our light is lit. So I know it's a fairly rudimentary sort of uh, demonstration, but uh, I'm not seeing any uh, any backing in there. And I know, you know, obviously got to measure it better than that. You can see some of these coils shaking. It's because they're actually hitting the rotor. Um, so obviously, need it better. But this is interesting too. We get some sort of magnetic coupling effect happening here when I... I don't know if you can see that. But the... Um, the light actually gets brighter. I've tested the voltage... Uh, when it when it's doing this and it um, it actually uh, it's about a 10 to 15 percent increase but, you know just making that magnetic this is all dragging on the rotor now which is why we're slowing down so we can get this even brighter if we put that coil down there we're oh, never going to stop it that one's jamming on that. Now my rotors, my steels are coming loose. Bastard. So I need a better rotor, obviously. Anyway, I'm going to switch it off now. It's about to fall apart. So what's happening there when you um, when you hear it go all skew if is my glued on rotors are starting, um, steels off the rotor are starting to lift. Um, but that's a 12 volt getting lit fairly brightly. I could get a lit brighter uh, with a better rig, obviously, uh, because there is so much movement and um, losses in this thing with the uh, the, the hairband uh, um, belt and a few other things. Uh, the coils, uh, this is the best one. It's out of a, um, a dynamo for a bicycle. These others uh, aren't as good. So... If I was to just run the uh, voltage on this one, um, we're getting around 3.5 volts. When you um, uh, cross the, uh, or you, you, know, you join the um, the steels with another steel, you get you're getting a 10 percent increase in that, which is nice uh, for no extra uh, cost on the um, on the battery. So it seems. I mean, obviously, no scope on this yet. Uh, this one of these coils will get um, 140 volts just stuck on one of these steels like that um, will not light the bulb though incidentally there's no bridge rectifier involved here so I'm lighting this is a um, uh, I'm lighting this direct with AC so uh, I'm not lighting DC, so if you're asking, hey, Jim, why don't you just uh, plug it back into the battery and see what happens? It's because I blew up my bridge and I haven't built another one yet. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, because I can't even see it. Anyway, it says 12 volt, uh, 100 milliamp. Um, yeah, so by passing the steels... Um, so this one's starting to, this one down here is starting to hit the magnets now. It's, it's come loose again. You can see there's, we've got a bit of movement there. Um, look, I've, I've tried a number of other different rotors, but my advice, and this is really hard, my advice to you is that um, whatever your rotor is, the steels, just make sure that they're held down nice and, nice and tight. I mean, this rotor's broken up and... Um, been trying some ferrites, but just not getting anywhere near the performance as what I do with the um, the, the laminated steel. Um, it just gives us a much better 
much better bang for our buck. Um, if I put this one on, you'll see what I mean. I, I haven't even tried lighting a... Um, stuck in there. I haven't even tried lighting a, um, a globe with this new rotor because I found the performance just by looking at the volts was, I mean, these are just ferrites, right? So um, I found the performance just wasn't anywhere near as good as um, the uh, laminated steel. I guess what you would expect, but I was a bit hopeful. I've added another four on here, another. So I've got actually, we've got eight eight um, poles here on our um, on this one. Let's see what we can get here. Goes a lot faster. RPMs are higher, which is cool. But um, we'll just see what we can get. Whoa! That's a lot faster than before. Oh, Jesus! And of course, that's um, that's the problem with using hot glue. Anyway, I didn't even get to test that one. Um, <laughs> the problem with using hot glue is things go flying everywhere uh, rather than using. Damn. Um, that was going really quick. I was curious to see how much we're going to get. Anyway, I don't think it would have been better necessarily than the steels. Who knows? Anyway. Um, I need to do, obviously, a different radar. Um, so you can see the issues there. Um, but, uh, very promising um, little uh, generator. The um, So those of you who are doing a, thinking about, you know, investing some time and effort, uh, yeah, do it. Because um, if you've got the tools out there, which I don't, I don't have a lathe or anything like that, um, then um, this is certainly a worthwhile endeavour because I, I mean I, you know, lighting a um, a twelve volt, one hundred milliamp globe, and not seeing any extra um, draw on the battery, uh, for me is certainly a first. Um, once again, I know it's a rudimentary test, not making any claims. Prior art, uh, go and uh, look at everybody else's video. I've got another seven videos there. You can go and have a look and see the progression of this one. Um, but certainly, I'm going to be working on this uh, a lot. Talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.